Alright, so um, what I'm going to show you now is how to rotate an object around a point in the level rather than the object's origin, which um, is what you define in, in SketchUp, like where the model origin is before you export it. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about now, if I just bring this in. So here's this tree. So the, the point of origin of the tree is right there where that mouse is. There. So I'll just pan around so you can see. So if I get... Oh, I'll make it spin first. So how you do that is you just... You can right click on the model and then go create flow graph. Or with the model selected you can come down in the roll up bar under flow graph. You can go create and then um, just don't worry about the group, that's for like if you have a really complex level you can sort of organize your flow graphs a bit easier so um, yeah then the flow graph pops up so here's, that's what the tree is called it's geom entity 2, so I'll just rename that up here now should work yeah there we go, so I just change it to tree and then to ro to make it rotate We'll um, add a new node into the flow graph. So just right click on the grey area and go add node under movement, rotate entity. So now here we have our rotate entity node and we need to choose what object or what entity we're going to rotate. So yeah, so you can just right click on this on the red and up comes um, assign graph entity so if you pick that it'll, it'll choose the entity that the flow graphs attached to which is the, the tree so then we can just set a speed on the, what axis it's going to rotate on so maybe like 70 or something and there we go you can see it already in the background rotating And I'll just change it to um, make it zero, make it forty or something. So now it's rotating around. What was that? The y-axis. So it's spinning around this one here. Let's move this over. So you can see it's spinning around that sort of weirdly. Oh, maybe it's spinning weirdly because it's on world system. So I'll try local. See what that does. Yeah, there we go. So how I'm getting the flow graph to run is just pressing this AI physics button. It just means that all the flow graphs will run, and you don't have to jump into the game. But I can just, I can jump into the game as well if I press Control G. You can see the tree rotating around its its um, y-axis. So to get it to rotate around another point, we need to link it to a, a target. Oh, what is it called? A, a tag point. So under on the roller bar, under objects, under AI, and then you go tag point, and you can just click, and then what is put him over there or something. And to figure out where he is in 3D space, because he's got no shadow, it's quite difficult. So what you can do is um, you can hold down shift and you can sort of see a bit easier like where he is. So we'll make him rotate around uh, say around there or something. And what you do is make another flow graph for the tag point create flow graph and then that tag point flow graphs there and we'll just we'll just copy the same node from the tree flow graph so just click on that right click copy go to tag point 
uh, right click in the tag point flow graph and go paste and so we don't need to change that because it's it's the graph entity so it's going to be rotating the tag point so that's quite good now you can sort of do that it's a bit easier whatever and yeah so now we need to link the tree to the tag point so to do that we just go up to this menu bar up here and it's got a a link icon, chain link, and you just drag from the tag point to the tree, or from the tree to the tag point. I think it works either way, just fine. And so now you can see there's this line here, and I'll just turn, I'll just go back up and turn that link off. And so what this means is you can, you can, you can still move the tree, and it moves by itself, but if you move the tag point. It moves the tree as well, so it's sort of linked one way, sort of to that tag point. It's like a special link. So what that means is you can have multiple trees or whatever objects linked to one tag point, and they can all sort of be controlled by it. So it's just yeah, just something else to think about. And so now because this tag point has this rotating flow graph on it. The tag point's going to rotate, and hopefully the tree will rotate with it. So there we go. The tree is sort of rotating as well as rotating around the tag point. Very weird. So to turn that off, I'll just disable the tree one for the moment. So you can see what I'm talking about. So that looks kind of weird, but cool. So um, maybe I'll make it kind of cooler somehow. If I maybe if I rotate it, the tree sort of weirdly, and just leave that zero maybe. What does that do? Oh, the re-enable flow graph. So the tree's kind of spinning. Pretty creepy. I mean, I'll zoom out a bit. Go up a wee bit. Just move this tag point up. And then move the tree maybe away from it. A bit. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Maybe, yeah. Okay, and then I'll add some more. I'll, um, yeah, so you can you can use this movement tools up here. So I'll just use X, Y. And I'll just move it along the X, Y position. And then when I copy, when I press, well, with the tree selected, and go Control C, it copies it and it's, you know, it's, it's locked into this X, Y position only. So uh, maybe I'll move it. Over there, and then another one like sort of back there or something. See what what that does. That might be kind of weird. Oh, they're all kind of doing the same stuff. Maybe I'll change it. I'll move it up a wee bit. Over there or something. What happens now? <laughs> Pretty creepy. And then what happens if we go sort of into it? Cool. Alright, well, you can sort of get the idea. You can rotate objects around a different point using the tag point. Cool.